Hello, today I'll be showing you how to work with Open Babel Toolkit. The Open Babel you can download it from the openbabel.org.wiki.main page. It is available in all the formats in like for Mac, uh, for Linux, and for uh, the Windows also. And Apart from Open Babel, today we'll be using Open Babel to learn how we can filter compounds. For example, uh, in uh, particular in this assignment, you have a data set of uh, mutagenic compounds, and according to a great people from Cassius, they have identified a lot of uh, mutagenic toxic force. Uh, this toxic force can be represented as miles, as marts, and which is presented here in this uh, supporting information. And just like for sp specific arom nitro, you just write as marts as this. A specific arom amine is this is for aromatic com compound, aromatic ring, and an amine group. Simple as that. There are 29 toxic force which has been here. So today our job is to use this smart string to filter compounds using open babel so let's see what what we need to do uh, so we need to collect the toxic of smarts from this uh, publication here uh, and then uh, we can download uh, some malaria data sets or some any bioassay data sets from pubchem so pubchem is a repository for bioassay results and, co and it's a huge repository of billions of compounds so you type in a, uh, any assay for example I have given some ID names uh, here So this this is a novatus based inhibition of plasmodium falciferum drug resistant proliferation atocyte based infection assay. So it contains the active molecules, some inconclusive molecules, and you can download the active molecules from this uh, from this uh, from this website as SDF format files. So for example, go to this page and then structure download and download an SDF gzip in the GZIP format. So since I have downloaded a uh, data set, I won't download it again. Uh, and <clears throat> the installation of this uh, of the Open Babel tool is, is pretty easy and you just download it and and just run it. So it's it's very easy and it can be used uh, used in command line interface also as well as in uh, the GUI format in Windows. The Mac provides an iBabel and it also provides a graphical user interface. So actually I'll be using the command line interface in Mac to show you how I can filter molecules. show you so the basic uh, the, uh, the document the documentation page of Mac uh, of the open Babel is here uh, you can see a lot of functions in command line form like you have to type either o Babel or Babel o Babel is the latest uh, that executable file you need to uh, you need to type and then the normal command line functions Say for example here, if you have, uh, if you want to convert molecules from multiple input files from various formats, you just type open babel ethanol dot x y z and then acetyl dot sdf and these these are the files of compounds and you convert it into all these compounds into smiles. Say for example, if you want to generate three D conformations of compounds, you just give the smile string and then dash dash gen 3d so here's a list of all these kinds of functions here which can be used in command line format for using uh, command line format 
to work with Open Babel. So our work today is to to filter a lot of molecules based on those toxic of four smiles. So so why is that? Because mutagenesis is one of the important ad, uh, important ad adverse effects of compounds, which prevent a compound to be a marketable drug. So uh, it was a very old paper from the Scazias et al. with they have identified uh, 29 toxic force and they have created a mutagenesis that is mutagenicity data set of 44 approximately like 4400 molecules, and it's a pretty good set to just check whether which molecules are mutagenic and non-mutagenic. So let me show you how I use this smart string from this from this publication to filter compounds. So here you can see when you type this open babble your input molecule is mymols.sdf and you output the molecules in sdf formatted file and the minus v is used suppose you want the compounds which do not match the SMARTS pattern of this uh, promobenzene. So then those molecules will get filtered out. And suppose you want compounds which matches the SMARTS pattern of uh, promobenzene. So those compounds will be filtered out. You can also uh, use multiple uh, multiple SMARTS pattern in a molecule for a filtering. Uh, for example, it's down in, this, in the web page where here you have the smart the babel or o babel filter sdf you want the output in smiles then type the filter comma command uh, along with that s or you know you can you can also remove the equal to sign is just optional so just for better representation of this uh, command so so here in this case the the comma the the compound filters uh, this cyanide and uh, this uh, nitrogen N plus whether the compound contains uh, CN and not N plus so all these compounds will get filtered so in our in our project uh, in our assignment uh, I have this already generated uh, and generated uh, generate the files for this SDF uh, in smiles format and you can output you can output it using dash o output dot smi so this is o babel uh, 449 stf then you want the output in smiles and you filter the compounds which contains nh2 Dash N and not contain uh, NH2 NA. So let us see on the screen which are those compounds and after filtering the big set. Uh, so you can see the compounds and their PopChem CID CIDs which get represented here. Suppose you want the compounds which contain both the smarts pattern. So you just remove this e not equals to sign and just see so it, it shows you the four molecules which contains both this parts pattern so suppose you want to check uh, which are the molecules which contains only this this pattern uh, so in the full data set uh, of around 4500 molecules or so contains uh, only four molecules which have which matches this parts here so uh, you can use this uh, on different toxicophores and just filter a lot of uh, compounds uh, based on the toxic four and get a you know number of molecules which passes the toxic toxicophore and which will re which will you know uh, represent the compounds as uh, uh, as mutagenic so, mm -hmm. so 
so you can output the files in a different file in in a smile text format And you have seen these four molecules got converted. So to see this, you can use uh, which are the molecules got converted. You can use the normal Marvin sketch sketcher from Chemaxon or Instant Chemchem. Your, you can use this or uh, use Marvin view to see the molecules yeah. see these are the four molecules you see they have that uh, smart pattern inside and these four molecules uh, might show mutagenicity in your uh, bioassay data set So OpenBabel has other lots of function you can go through. You can use inchy descriptors. Uh, you can um, use other, uh, you know, uh, based on the molecular weight. You can filter based on log p. You can filter a lot of other compounds and rotatable bonds and all. You can also use uh, uh, the Bible, which is the Babel uh, Babel API in Python and. Uh, I will I will give a link to how to use the Bible. Uh, to filter the compounds uh, in my next video. Thank you.